Good afternoon, everybody. This is NCP. Um, wanted to show you something I printed here for uh, field day. Um, <clears throat> okay, first thing first. Um, yeah, let's start with that. This is a, uh, a DeWalt battery adapter I printed from Thingiverse. And I'll put a link below. And what this does is it slips onto your, your DeWalt 20 volt batteries or, or XR or I believe Flex Volt too, but I don't have that, so I don't know. But it just goes on there like that, and you can adapt to whatever. What I'm going to do with this is I'm going to put an Altoids tin on here for my, uh, my Pixie transmitter for field day, which is, I think, June 17th, I think, um, coming up. <clears throat> so I'm printing a couple of these up. And, uh, you know, a one amp hour, I think this is one amp hour, a one amp hour DeWalt battery um, will give me a lot of power for a lot of time. Um, length of transmit and receive. Uh, usually I used to do 9 volt batteries in those things, but I'm going to go ahead and do a, a resistor to drop the power in this uh, down to um, probably 13.8, maybe 14 volts. And, uh, you know, we should get about one, one and a half to two watts out of the Pixie transmitter. Um, now, I'm going to print another one for my other radio. It's a, um, a uh, QRP Labs, uh, um, yeah, I don't know, something. <laughs> it's a small portable radio. And I'll put it on the 5 amp hour battery, which I don't think they add this, uh, one of these generic batteries for the DeWalt's because... They're just too expensive, and I wanted to buy one to see if it works, and they worked. They worked absolutely flawless. And um, this one has been going two days. I built this workbench you're looking at now. Um, still fully charged, so I don't know how long that will run. Uh, I could do some math on that, but, you know, I'm not going <laughs> to. But I'll put this on my bigger radio. Um, still going to be QRP. We're going to go about 10 watts, maybe less, but, but 10 watts. Now we're going to get out there with a uh, dipole antenna, and we're going to see what happens on field day. Um, but I can recharge this from my car. I can recharge this from my car from an inverter. Not a thing, but an inverter. And you get more points if they're portable, if they're out in certain things. Uh, you know, summit on the air or, you know, just out there doing doing stuff. So <clears throat> I want to point out this is the main point of this video is the, a battery pack adapter for DeWalt. Now they have them for just about every battery out there. And this is my, my cheap power solution, and cheap isn't is an easy. I mean, a, a real DeWalt battery like this size is about, I think, 80 or 90 bucks. This cost me uh, 30 and uh, that's what I'm going to do. Because these these are okay for the little impact drivers and stuff, but when you're, when you're with one of your, your uh, Sawzalls or Sawzalls or your circular saw, which I'm going to still pull apart and work on, but they don't, they don't last. They're, they're good for a couple boards and stuff, but these go and go and go and go and go. So I pretty much built this desk, or the secondary bench, or third, third bench, actually. Yeah, it's the third bench I built. Now we're going to build some more. Um, anyway, that's, yeah, not, not important. But um, I recommend you guys that have 3D printers print one of these. Now, there are other options. Um, basically, it, like I said, it slides in there. you got some, um, some blade connectors in there and the adapter here. The whole thing is the adapter, it's the mount and everything, but also you can protect your battery to keep them from shorting out your bag if you want, but I don't, I'm not worried about that. But basically, um, the blades come out here, this is a, um, oh, a, uh, a recessed screw, I don't know what that's for, uh, it doesn't mate, mate anything on here, but your blade connectors come through the front, uh, you can bolt it together, obviously. Yeah, um... Wait, I can't think how this goes now. There we go. Yeah, you can't. There's no point in bolting that. Unless you're going to bolt it to your battery. I mean, if you wanted to, you could just print out something like this. And you put your, your spade connectors in there. And you run your wires out, out the back here. And that will just go right on the battery. And it's good enough for field day, obviously. There's no force. And just as it is, it's got a friction connection. So that would be just fine if you want to make a bunch of NPs and didn't want to print the whole thing out. Up to you. But, yeah, spade connectors go right in there. And just... Now, one thing you can do is you, you put a resistor on there to drop it down to necessary voltage. Uh, I'm going to be pulling... 
on 0.8 amps or 0 0.08, something like that. So you have to figure out what your resistance is. I'll put a link to a website below that'll do the math for you guys. I use it a lot because I get lazy. But how much to drop it down? Like I said, I'm going to drop a 20 volt unit down. You just put in the numbers what you need. Like you'll have whatever voltage, and then you'll put in, I need this voltage out, and I need this many watts or amps or whatever. And you'll it'll tell you the math to let it pull that. So this is just going to be really cool for field day. I mean, this is still kind of heavy, you know, but, but if you're just carrying this, not hiking in the mountains, I'll, I'll take this out to the fields, uh, behind one of the schools or something, and, uh, you know, we'll get out there, and we'll do some QRP and some, uh, some Morse code, which I'm still very, very bad at, but I've got units that'll send my ID out, <laughs> where I can just hit it and go. I've got a Morse code reader I haven't built yet, but I'm going to put it together, um, I need to make cable. I, I've got a lot of neat things I'm gonna, I'm gonna put on this for field day, and I got about two weeks, I guess. Today I think is the first. I had to reshoot this video because I screwed up the other one real bad. It's just going in and out, in and out, in and out, and I don't make you throw up. So um, go to Thingverse. I'll put the links to this below, to this, and um, I don't know, that's pretty much it. This, this, uh, this. Ah, I can't even think this morning. Gosh dang. Uh, for all those asking my foot, my foot is much, much better. The crutches um, really took their toll on my armpits. I've just very, very sore. Um, I'd rather just hop around, you know, but but I can walk now. It just it just aches a little bit now, so we're, we're all good now. So that's good for field day, but <clears throat> anyway, take a look at this. You can print it up. They put the logo on there. Um, I'm not the creator of this. I'll put a link to the website on uh, Thingiverse for this. I'll put the link to these cheap batteries, which I really recommend. I don't, I don't have any sponsorship or anything like that from them or any anything for it. But this is a really neat battery. They're called. Um, hmm, it might be live battery. They're lithium ion, so I think that's the brand. I, I don't really know. I'll just put a link. I got it on Amazon. I said about 30 35 bucks each compared to the, the real ones, which are much more expensive. And, you know, if you're making a living, you know, go ahead and get the real thing, you know. But I'm not using the tools to make a living, so. And uh, from my understanding, is lithium ion, uh, you got a couple of years from the date of manufacture for the die. So you can't, like, buy them and put them on the shelf and save them. They should all have a date on it where they were manufactured. Um... This one doesn't, obviously. I should, somewhere. I don't know. Oh well, so much for that, huh? Huh, I don't know. Oh well, they're good for about two years or so. All right, this is NCP, y'all have a great day. Um, post questions. And like I said, I'll get this up today. Uh, like I said, I had to refilm this whole video because it just, the other one was just so bad. And, you know, walking around and shaky and all stuff. So, broke my tripod. So, I had to use this contraption here. So, all right, everybody, you have a great weekend. And um, hopefully, I'll have some really neat content coming up uh, Saturday. Uh, depends if I'm allowed to film or not. Um, yeah, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to be a place that has a lot of really, really cool radio equipment really cool if i'm allowed to film there i'll do it if not i won't i don't want to say where it's at right now but i will afterwards if i can if i'm allowed you know clearances and such <laughs> all right this is nice y'all have a great weekend and stay safe have a good one everybody